Hello, I am Luke from Smallfish and I'm going to show you how to do material groups in Sandbox. So from how to do them in Model Doc, how to set them up and test them, um, all the way to a quick example of how to use them in game. So to get started, I've got two render meshes here just as a quick example with a default material group. Um, I show these in our how to import a model fish bites video so if you want to check that out. So. First of all, look at the default material group here. There's three slots, there's two materials for the eyes and one for the skin, and that that consists of our full default material group, and our default material group is the material our mesh, our model, always has every time it's created. So let's quickly add a second one, and with that we just literally click add and just search up material group and we can add this node. And let's do the dark skin tone let's do that for example so in this it, it just says these are our default materials and these are the new replacement materials so what I could do is I can say uh, I'll grab a darker skin tone I will grab a different eyes let's say I grab these eyes which I think are bigger if we compile and we can check on the outline on the right so we can see default and darker got bigger eyes now but we want to keep the AO so we can just do that or if we wanted to we could literally just say oh, I want the same eyes as well so you can you can replace one material or multiple in there uh, let's do a quick another one as well so material group and let's do a pale skin tone for example and in that we can replace the pale the skin tone if we wanted to we could do something weird like this and we'll keep that and we can see in here pale creepy little eyes dark and the my default material i've set obviously you can name this up here so let's say like white but the issue is it doesn't actually rename default default is always default so yeah it's only new material groups that get specific names so now i've shown you this I'm going to quickly hop in game and I'll show you a quick example, a little basic uh, game example I've set up. But you only need to see the few lines of code I'll show you. Okay, here is a quick example. So uh, you can ignore all this. I've just got stuff set up so I can view the model and click to change material group. All you need to know is there's two methods. You need to use a model entity and anything that derives from model entity will always have these. but two methods are set material group which set material group has two ways of setting it either you can do it by the string so I could say uh, default or like pale or whatever you can do it by that or you can do it by like integer so you can do number four um, I'm just going to go back to material group there um, and you can also get in and when you get your material group it always returns as an integer and I've just got it quickly set up so it says in my console what material group I'm using what it was what it is so if I click it just switches it like that so you can see my previous one it was one our new one is three it is it's here it just basically is telling me what I'm using uh, and that's how you can set and get your material groups. It's literally just like a single method within your model entity. And obviously if you wanted to see how do I know what material groups are in my model, you can literally just go to your model and you have to browse or open it up and it's literally on the right. So these are your names and you can also go by the integer. So one, no, zero, one, two, three, four, five. It starts from zero, default's always zero. Or you can just do default skin 01 skin yeah, you understand, and that's just how it goes. It's pretty easy, pretty simple to do it, and that's how you do material groups.